it's Perez, join by Linda Balea, and I have a gift that you gave me. Yes, I did. Thank you. I, I like it. I feel very festive in it. Exactly. You're ready to go in for the big leg drop there with this on. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Were you... Wait. I, I'm, I'm a little taken aback by your, your outfit. You're dressed quite uh, provocatively. Just for you. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Is this your normal attire? Kinda. Wearing wearing some big heels. Right. Well, are we in Hollywood or what? We are. I'm doing Hollywood then. All right. I like it. So you have a new book coming out. Yeah. Or it is out. It's out. It's called Wrestling with the Hulk. Wrestling the Hulk. Wrestling the Hulk. Why did you decide to, to write the book? You know what? I went through such a nasty divorce and, and a lot of the marriage was good and then there was the part that was bad. And I think that there's a learning curve in everything. You know, there's a silver lining to every storm and I found the silver lining to be you know that I, I learned something and, I, and maybe I stuck around the marriage too long maybe I, I stayed too long maybe I should have left sooner but you know whether it was the How right thing or the wrong for? thing you know I, I hope they can learn by my mistakes or my lessons that I've learned. How long were you together for? Like 24 years. 24 years that's a long time. I know we got married back in 1983 and I met him at the end of 1981 and I think a lot of people don't realize that I was there all those years, you know? They think that I just sort of showed up on the set when Hogan Knows Best <laughs> popped onto the air, you know? And uh, how did Brooke and Nick get here? You know, who am I? It's like, nobody really knows that back history. And it's like, I'm an old timer. I go way back. Linda has suggested that I try to do other things, but, you know, after you've sold out Madison Square Garden 56 times, in a row, it's kind of hard on a Friday night to go bowling and get a huge rush. Now, there's that... I don't know if it's accurate or not, but theory that reality TV shows kind of are a killer of relationships. D do you think that really hurt your relationship or was it good for you and, and Hulk and the family? What, what's yeah, your take on that? You know, I mean, there's there's a lot of, you know, good and bad about reality. And, you know, you open your front door and you've got, we had 28 people in our film crew. So every day, 28 people, thank God we had a big house. But it is invasive and it can kind of, um, you know, it forces you guys to be together when you know you really need to take a break or you want to go do something but you're really just together but we were together in always good and funny scenarios you know even when there were arguments um, they were always a little bit more contrived just for TV but I think honestly we were having problems and and had we not had the show I don't think we would have probably stayed together as long as we did after the div well the divorce is, is it done done now? Yes, it's it's final and because it took a while. And what was that divorce process like? Because you know it, it it wasn't quick and there was a lot of money involved and all that. You think it, were you happy with it? You think it was fair? Oh, I had one very good lawyer. Okay. And he had six not so good lawyers. Hey. So he's moved on. He's married now, and you moved on, and, and you are still dating the same boyfriend, uh -huh. Charlie. Yep. He's how old again? <laughs> 20? He's 23. 23 now. Yeah. And you're 47? 51. 51. Um, and you've been dating like three years now. I know, three years, you know. Which but... is a lot longer than anybody thought. And have you had a conversation about like, does he want to have kids? Well, that was one of the things that I think is, is made me wait on really finalizing the relationship with him is because, you know, he's young and he deserves to be married to a young wife and have kids. And I've told him that a lot of times. And when he was 20, 21, we weren't talking about marriage, but now we're talking about it. And I said, you really deserve to have a family, you know? I mean, I've had one and I don't, you know, I'm menopausal. I can't have kids anymore. And I don't know, could you imagine me pregnant? <laughs> Does he have a job? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. His job is to keep you happy? Yeah. I you mean, have a lot of sex? Yeah. Once a day? Yeah. At least. <laughs> oh, no, no, not not once a day. Probably, like you know, every day, every other day. Every like day. That. That's awesome. Day. Why not? Yeah, you know? why not? I'm all for He's it. He's awesome. He's High great. five. <laughs> Back to the book. Have you gotten wind from Hulk if he's thoroughly unpleased? Is he threatening to sue you over the book as well? Uh, you know, I don't know that. I, I have no idea. I hope not. You know, I mean, I could have slung a lot more mud, but I didn't. I chose not to. You know, I've got my two kids out there that read this, my family. And even though it's a very honest accounting, I didn't bring up every nasty detail and gory detail. I stuck to the picture. I brought up some of the highlights of, you know, some of the really bad stuff and some of the really funny stuff. But, uh, you know, all in all, I think that as you read through it, there is a lesson to be learned. You look at my stuff, I make lists, I give you, I even put a couple recipes in there, but um, it's just nice reading and it's a nice story and it's enough for people to realize 
what his life was behind the scenes, at home, not on TV, and not in the ring. Well, I can't wait to read it. Thank you. Thank you I for coming have over. You on. I forgot. Thank Sorry. you for my boa. I appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs>